friends, or as a pirate might say, ahoy me hearties! My name is Smelly Jellyfish, and I'm so glad that you're setting sail with us today at SBP Kids Online Church. Here at SBP Kids Online Church, we sing and pray and have fun while we hear God's Word and we learn about how awesome it is to live a life following Jesus. The cool thing about you being here with me today is that it isn't just you watching me on a screen. You're not alone. You can know that we have friends watching from all over the world today. And that's right, if you're watching, that means you're a friend, whether you're a little kid, a big kid, or a kid at heart. And since we're friends, it's super important that we know each other's names. So on the count of three, I want you to yell out your name. Are you ready? One, two, three. Awesome! I heard so many great names, but what about your pirate name? Did you catch my pirate name at the beginning? <laughs> Normally I say, hi friends, my name is Laura, but I definitely didn't say that today. I said my name was Smelly Jellyfish. I want to know your pirate name too, so I'm going to help you figure that out. To figure it out, you need to know two things. You need to know what the first letter of your name is. So since my name is Laura, the first letter is an L. Do you know what yours is? Once you know that, you also have to know what your favorite color is. I want you to pick it. Do you have it? All right, perfect. This is gonna help you figure out what your pirate name is. All right, let's figure out your pirate first name first. <laughs> so if your first letter of your name starts with A, B, C, D, or E, then your pirate first name is Laughing. Don't forget it if that's you. If your first name starts with F, G, H, I, or J, then your pirate first name is Jumping. If your name starts with K, L, M, N, O, then your pirate first name is Smelly, like mine. <laughs> if your name starts with P, Q, R, S, T, then your pirate first name is Captain. And if your first name starts with U, B, W, X, Y, or Z, then your pirate first name is Royal. Do you remember your first name? Okay, keep that in your head. We're gonna figure out our second name now, our pirate last name. So to figure this out, remember your favorite color. If your favorite color is red, your pirate last name is Money Buckets. If it's orange, your last name is Stinky Breath. If it's yellow, your last name is Fancy Pants. If it's green, your last name is Sparrow. If it's blue, your last name is Lobster Legs. <laughs> if your favorite color is purple, then your last name is Scallywag. If your favorite color is pink, then your last name is Golden Tooth. If your favorite color is brown, then your last name is Doubloons. If your favorite color is black, then your last name is First Mate. If your favorite color is gold, like mine, or silver, then your last name is Jellyfish. And if your favorite color is rainbow, then your last name is Treasure Chest. Okay, do you remember what your pirate name is? I'm gonna keep it on the screen so you can figure it out. And I want you to tell me, tell it to me in the comments so that I can know what to call you on this adventure. And while you're at it, tell me your original name too, so I know who to associate it with. All right, I'll be in the comments watching and I'm ready to say hi to you. That was so much fun discovering our pirate names. You know what, during this series, we are going to be discovering a treasure that is better than gold. Can you imagine something that would be better than gold? Actually, that's a good question. What do you think is better than gold? If you think you have an answer, let me know in the comments. <laughs> well, did any of you guess the Bible? The Bible is an amazing book full of God's word and it tells God's story. And we're about to go on an adventure for the next eight weeks that will help us discover some exciting things about that story. That's why our brand new series is called Better Than Gold and it's gonna be awesome. So, what is the Bible? Maybe you've heard me talking about it, or you've seen a Bible on your shelf at home, or maybe you've heard it read at church. 
but if you still have questions, let me see if I can help you understand it just a little bit more. What is the Bible? The Bible is one book made up of little books full of chapters and verses. Inside those books are stories, songs, poems, and dreams, and together they tell one big story, God's story. The Bible is the most treasured book full of God's words that tell the true story of His amazing love. From the beginning of time, God spoke the world into existence, creating everything that we see. God continued to speak through a family that He chose to show His love to the world. He spoke through the stories of the kings and told what was to come through prophets. When God's people rejected Him, they were taken into exile, and God stopped speaking to them for hundreds of years. That's where the Old Testament part of the Bible ends. The New Testament begins with God sending His Son Jesus to earth to fix our friendship with Him once and for all. In the Gospels is where we can read the good news of how Jesus' life, death, and resurrection changed everything. He made a way for us to be friends with God. Followers of Jesus started the church, which is how the good news of Jesus is spread all over the world. And at the end, God's story tells us about a future where Jesus will come back and make the world right again, which is really a brand new beginning. When you look at everything that happened in the Bible, you will see that it is the story God wrote to show you how much He loves you. Wow, I love that the Bible is a story that shows us how much God loves us. No wonder this is a treasure that is better than gold. I don't know about you, but I am feeling so ready for an adventure. So let's get the fun started today with a little pirate joke. Ahoy there, mateys. Are ye ready for a joke? Aye, aye. Tar she blows. This joke here be a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? A pirate that doesn't know how to use a cell phone. Check it out. Oh, what a day. Who's this? Huh? Huh? Where's that coming from? Stop! Uh-oh. Just walk away slowly. Do you get it? Do you get it? Well, since we all have our pirate names now and we've gotten warmed up with a pirate joke, I think we better hop on a pirate ship and start our adventure. We're going to meet Pirate Petey and have a ton of pirate fun. So if you're ready to discover something new about the Bible, say, hoist the sails! Ahoy, mateys! Welcome aboard me ship. Me name's Pirate Petey, and I'm the captain of this here pirate ship I like to call the Barnacle Barge. And this is me first mate, Polly Barrett. Welcome aboard! Welcome aboard! Polly and I are about to set sail and hunt for treasure. We sure could use some help. Would you, mateys, like to be a part of me pirate crew and search for treasure with us? Yeah. Search for treasure! Search for treasure! Yay hee hee! As a part of me pirate crew, you'll be helping me and Polly around the ship. Before we can get going, there's a few things that you need to do. First, we need to hoist the sail. Come on, crew, you do it too. Shiver me timbers, we did it. Next, we need to steer the ship. Come on, crew, you do it too. Yo ho ho, look at you go. Now it's time to swab the deck. Come on, crew, you do it too. Good job, mateys. Now, the last thing we must do before setting sail on our great treasure hunt is dance a pirate jig. Come on, crew, you do it too. Come on, crew, 
Come on, crew. Yo, ho, away we go. The waves gonna toss us to and fro. Yo, ho, away we go. Away we go. And a yo, ho, ho. Let's raise the sails, go out to sea. And find the treasure buried deep. We know it doesn't need a key It lives inside of you and me Good news, better than gold Better than anything you've been told Yo ho, God gave his son This good news is for everyone Let's raise the sails, go out to sea And find the treasure buried deep We know it doesn't need a key It lives inside of you and me Good news! Good news, better than gold Better than anything you've been told Yo ho, God gave his son This good news is for everyone Good news is for everyone Yo, ho, away we go Go tell everybody that we know Yo, ho, away we go Away we go with a yo, ho, ho Yo, ho, look at you go You can take your seats aboard me ship Now we best get out our treasure map So we can find the treasure Quick, unroll your map with me there's an X on our map, because X marks a spot where the treasure should be. If you see the X, point it out, me hearties. Yes, that's right. But to get over to it, we must sing a special pirate song. Ah, it goes like this. Your word to me is like pure gold. I treasure what you say. Psalm 119, 140. Well, blow me down, Bolly. <laughs> Let's all sing it together, mateys. Your word to me is like pure gold. I treasure what you say. Yo-ho, way to go. We made it. Oh, look, I see the X where our treasure will be. It looks like we have to play a game to get to it. Stand up and get ready to play. To get to our treasure, we need to follow the pattern. Well, tiptoe, tiptoe, jump. Then tiptoe, tiptoe, jump. Until we've made it to the X. You do it. Tiptoe, tiptoe, jump. Tiptoe, tiptoe, jump. Tiptoe, tiptoe, jump. Tiptoe, tiptoe, now stop. What comes next, me hearties? Jump! Yay! We made it to the X. And X marks the spot, me hearties. We need to dig to find our treasure. Now get your shovel ready and dig with me. Let's dig some more. Don't give up. Keep going, we've almost got it. We did it, me hearties. We found the buried treasure. Isn't it beautiful? It's the Bible and it's better than gold. Better than gold. Better than gold. The Bible has many treasures. If you're ready to hear a treasure from the Bible, let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click. click. And you can't forget your special eyes. Zoop, zoop. zoop. Now you're ready. The Bible is God's story, and it starts like this. In the beginning, God created the world. All God had to do was speak, and the world came to be. On the first day, he created light. On day two, God created the sky. And on day three, God created dry land and seas and plants and trees. 
Then, on day four, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. On day five, God created animals in the sea and sky, like fish and birds. Then, on day six, He made animals that live on land. He also made people. God named the first people He made Adam and Eve, and they were God's friends. Everything was perfect. That was until a very sneaky snake told Adam and Eve some lies. Lies are when we don't tell the truth. Adam and Eve believed the snake's lies and disobeyed God. When Adam and Eve disobeyed, it hurt their friendship with God. Since then, everyone does wrong things that hurt their friendship with God too. But he knew this was going to happen and already had a plan to fix it. God wanted to speak to us and tell us how much he loves us. So he had a lot of different people write down his words and put them in the Bible for us to read. So, when we're reading the Bible, we're reading God's words. God's word is God's very true story of the things he has done to show us his love and fix our friendship with him. And we should read God's story, the Bible, every day. Oh, would you look at that? We got three gold doubloons for learning God's word is God's story. Grab your treasure and put it in your pocket. God's word is God's story. God's word is God's story. <coughs> Repeat after me in your best parrot voice. <coughs> God's word. God's word is God's story. Is God's story. Yo ho! Look at you go. We can read God's word and know that it's God's story. There's a verse in the Bible that helps us know that God's word is better than gold, and we can treasure it more than anything else. So let me teach you that verse. Say it after me. Psalm 119, verse 140. Your word to me, your servant, is like pure gold. I treasure what you say. Psalm 119, verse 140. Wow, that is such a great verse. Now that you've heard it once, why don't we say it all together, okay? Here we go. Psalm 119, verse 140. Your word to me, your servant, is like pure gold. I treasure what you say. Psalm 119, verse 140. Wow, you know what would be fun? Saying that verse with a pirate. Arr, we found the treasure. God's word is like pure gold. And it goes like this. Your word to me, that's the Bible. Your servant, well that's me, Captain Goldtooth. That's also you, me crew. It's like pure gold. I treasure what you say. Well, shiver me timbers. That verse can be found in Psalm 119. All right, me crew. Let's see if you can say it in your best pirate voice. Repeat after me, Captain Goldtooth. Your word to me, your servant, is like pure gold. I treasure what you say. Psalm 119, 140. Well, shiver me timbers! You'll have God's word buried in your heart in no time. Hey, Tyler, I can juggle two apples. Well, I can juggle three. Well, I can juggle four. Well, I can juggle five. Prove it. <laughs> wow, that was pretty impressive. Did you know there's something I've learned about apples recently? Oh yeah, what's that? Well, you know how in the picture of Adam and Eve from the Bible, Eve is usually holding an apple? Yeah, I've definitely seen that before. Well, it turns out the fruit that Adam and Eve ate wasn't necessarily an apple at all. It could have been anything, but experts believe it was a pomegranate. What? That's cool. The Bible is jam-packed with so many amazing stories just like that one. You may have heard the story of creation before, and you may think it's just a story about two people, Adam and Eve. No way. While Adam and Eve were part of God's story, that story isn't all about them. What? Tell me more. When the world was created, 
God the Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit were all together, and each one of them had a specific part in its creation. Teamwork makes the dream work. And to kick it all off, God spoke and created the world. And on the first day, He created light. Whoa! And then He created day and night by separating the light and the darkness. And on the second day, God created the sky. And on day three, God created dry land and plants. He gave the dry ground a name, land, and he gave the water a name, calling it sea. Guys, you get a name, you get a name, everybody gets a name. And on the fourth day, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, God made you what you are. I like it. Thanks, it's the remix. And God kept creating things like fish and birds on day five. And on day six, he made the animals that live on land and people. Lions, tigers, humans, oh my! God named those first people he made, Adam and Eve, and they were all BFFs. Everything was perfect. That was until a sneaky snake told Adam and Eve some lies and convinced them to disobey God. Skrrr! What? When Adam and Eve disobeyed, it really hurt their friendship with God. But God knew this was going to happen. Right, because God knows everything. And he already had a plan to fix their friendship with him. Ooh, this story's getting good. And that's exactly what the Bible is. It's a true story that God wrote about how much he loves the people he made. And we can break it down like this. Not quite like that, oh. but like this. You see, there are two big parts to God's story, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament tells the true stories of how God created everything and shows a special group of people to show his love to the world. Mm. It's full of songs and poems, wow. war stories, what? tales of giants, talking donkeys, <laughs> kings and queens. And in every book and every chapter, there are messages about the future when God would send the perfect person to fix people's friendship with him once and for all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And the New Testament part of the Bible is when the person comes on the scene as a real life human. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> yep. The New Testament is full of eyewitness accounts that tell the story of how God sent Jesus, his very own son, to fix our friendship with him. And it also has stories of people who risked their lives to tell everyone this good news. God had a plan for people to know his love and experience friendship with him. And that's what the story of the Bible is all about. God spoke to create the world and he kept on speaking. He spoke to people who wrote down his words and turned them into books. Got it, God. I'll write it down. Got it. From beginning to end, the Bible is God's word to us, and every word of it is true, and all the stories inside of it actually happened thousands of years ago. Most of all, these things that happened in history are His story, God's story about everything He did to show us His love. Man, the Bible really is the best book ever. You got that right. Ah, God's word is God's story. God's Word is God's story! What do you see? What do you see? How to be a pirate. Today we find an eager young lad in hopes of becoming a pirate. Observe. First up, we must give him a pirate name. We'll call him Patches McMonkey. Excellent. Now, one duty every pirate must fulfill. Swabbing the deck. Next, our hopeful Hornswoggler will walk the plank. As you can see, being a pirate isn't easy. But what is easy? Finding things in the Bible. It may seem hard to find something in such a big book. Maybe you're wanting to find Psalm 119, 140. So first, you need to find the book of Psalms. If you don't know where that is, don't worry. Just turn to the beginning of your Bible and look for the table of contents.
contents. It will tell you what page the book you're looking for is on. Once you're there, the big numbers in the book tell you the chapter and the little numbers tell you the verses. Excellent! If you're looking for verses on a certain topic like animals, a lot of Bibles have an index at the back with a bunch of different topics, and it shows where God talks about those things in the Bible. But if you're not using a paper Bible and an app is more your speed, you can use the very helpful search tool to discover all the treasures the Bible has to offer. All right, me crew, get up and dance like a pirate. Shiver me timbers, you're already a yo-ho pirate pro. And the one thing a pirate must do is count up his gold doubloons. Gold doubloons, gold doubloons. Oh, mateys, count them with me. One, one two, two, three, three gold, gold doubloons. doubloons. And look, these coins be having a question about God's word. Let's take a look at the first one. It says, what part of God's story did we hear today? Matis, did we hear a tall tale about a shipwreck? No. No. But did we hear the true story about how God created the world? Yes. Well, blow me down. You're right. We heard the true story of how God created everything, even people, and how the Bible is God's story of how he fixed our friendship with him. Let's look at our next gold doubloon. This one says, what did you learn today? <laughs> God's story, God's story. Yo-ho, way to go, Polly. You're right. We learned that God's word is God's story. This time, we'll let our pirate crew join in. Lead the way, Polly. Ah, God's word is God's story. God's word is God's story. Repeat after me in your best parrot voice. Ah. Ah. God's word. God's word. Is God's story is God's story. Arr, now that's the truth. Every time I read God's word, I know that it's God's story. Let's look at our last gold doubloon. It says, now that you know that the Bible is God's story, what should you do? Mateys, should we throw God's word away or should we read it every day? Read it every day. Aye, aye, mateys. You and I can read our Bible every day. When you read your Bible, there are three questions you can ask. The first question is, what? What did we read in God's Word today? Did we read about A, Pirates of the Caribbean, B, Jesus walking on water, or C, creation and Adam and Eve? The answer is C. We read about how God spoke and created the world. He made two humans, Adam and Eve, and they listened to a snake and disobeyed God, which really messed up their friendship with him. The next question to ask when you read the Bible is, so what? Or in other words, why does this matter to me? Well, it's important for us to understand that God created everything we see. It's also important for us to know that just like Adam and Eve, 
we do wrong things that hurt our friendship with God. And the last question to ask yourself is, now what? Now, what do we do with what we've learned? Well, there are lots of things we can do. We can praise God for being so awesome and creating the world. We can tell God we're sorry for the wrong things we do that hurt our friendship with Him. And we can keep reading God's story to find out all the things He has done to fix our friendship with Him. And whenever you read the Bible, remember to ask yourself, what, so what, and now what? Now let's celebrate all we've learned on our treasure hunt by singing a song. This song's called The Pirate Party. And what better way to celebrate than with a party? Stand up and sing, mateys. Yay, hey, hey, jump aboard me hearties. We're pirates on our way. So join our pirate party You're the pirate crew And you're here to save the day So here's what pirates do Just follow what I say Hoist the sail! Hoist the sail! Heave ho! Heave ho! Steer the ship! Steer the ship! Swab the deck! Swab the deck! Now let me see you dance the jig! Dance the jig! Join our pirate party You're the pirate crew And you're here to save the day So here's what pirates do Just follow what I say Hoist the sail Hoist the sail Heave ho, heave ho Steer the ship Steer the ship Swab the deck Swab the deck Now let me see you dance the jig Show them your pirate moves Yay, hey, hey, you saved the day, me hearties. Yay, hey, hey, and we're glad you joined our party. Now it's time to set sail to go back to the mainland. If you're ready to go, let's sing our special sailing song. Take it away, Polly. Ah, it goes like this. Your word to me is like pure gold. I treasure what you say. Well, blow me down, Bolly. <laughs> Let's all sing it together, mateys. Your Hey, 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 what a day. We've made it back to the port, me hearties. Let's say what we learned today one more time for all of our land lovers to hear. Ah, God's word is God's story. God's word is God's story. Ah. Repeat after me in your best parrot voice. Ah. Ah. God's word God's word is God's story. Is God's story. Yo ho, look at you go. Thanks for being part of me crew here on the Barnacle Barge. Wow, what an adventure that was. Learning that God's word is God's story definitely helps me see how God's word is better than gold. In fact, I'm so thankful that God gave us the Bible that I want to pray and thank God. Would you join me? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. We know that it's your story and it's better than gold. As we read the Bible each day, show us more about who you are and how much you love us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. We may be back on shore already, but the fun isn't over yet. You can continue the pirate adventure at home with our at-home activity guide and all the free printable coloring pages that we send out every week in our SBP Kids newsletter called the SBP Kids Scoop. 
To subscribe to The Scoop, go to stbenedict.ca slash sbpkids where you can give us your email address. And there's even more fun to be had on Wednesday nights for all the kids in 4th, 5th, and 6th grade. It's called The Encounter. It's a youth group for kids that age. Any kids are welcome to join, and it's on Zoom. This week is a game night, which means it's just a night full of fun, so don't miss it. Sign up by going to stbenedict.ca slash encounter to register. You only need to sign up once, but if you're not seeing the weekly emails from me, then check your spam folder, because I am definitely sending it to you. And by the way, remember how God's word is better than gold? Well, check out this super awesome way to read the Bible on your own at home. Here's a really great way to read the Bible on a phone or tablet. Head to your app store and find the YouVersion Bible app. Download it and open it. This is wonderful for everybody. You can read your Bible, find some awesome reading plans. But for kids, here's a really cool thing that changes every day that they can find and access. The Bible app has something called a kid's Bible experience. To turn it on, you need to go to your settings and then turn on the kids Bible experience. When you've done that, you'll see that there's now this awesome daily scripture story that kids can check out. It includes okay, videos first. and quizzes, Bible passages, reflections, and prayer. This is a really awesome way for kids to engage in the Bible every day. Encourage your kids to try it today. That's all for me this week, but don't worry, me hearties. I've got a whole bunch more adventure coming your way next week. So I'll see you then.